Andre, how's it going? Hey man, I'm 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 amped up. It's Eagle time. Monday night football, Eagles Chiefs, man. What we doing? Let's go, man. Super Bowl rematch, Super Bowl foreshadowing, because I think that these are the two best teams in the NFL. Niners, you know, they've replenished Chase Young, Randy Gregory, but they got Hafunga out. You know, and I don't know if I don't know if you're gonna be riding the Purdy train all the way to the Super Bowl the same way that you can, you know, basically put it just all on red or black and just bet it on a guy like Jalen Hurts to make plays when it matters, take the knee brace off. And that is evidently what he's doing tonight. Everybody has their weaknesses and everybody have their strengths. The strengths of both the Eagles and the Cowboys, I mean, the uh, 49ers, their front four, getting pressure on the quarterback. That is their biggest strength. <clears throat> but then when you're talking about the backfields, those are the weaknesses of both teams. You're not really scared to throw against a 49er offense. If you could get blocked and you could keep Bosa, Armstead, Hargrave, and Chase Young off of getting your jersey dirty and you able to make some plays on them double move dummies over there, yes, you can get you can get some offense rolling, man. Tampa Bay, they made a little run yesterday at Fort at, at San Fran, but too little too late. And at the end, it's the 49ers, though. But, you know, at the top of the NFC, it's off, it's, of course, it's the Eagles and the 49ers and everybody else. I just think they wipe them. They wax them. Detroit, hey, 8-2 and two this year. Salute. Y'all having a great year. I predicted that y'all was going to win the NFC North. Uh, Listen, y'all, this is, y'all, yeah, Green Bay out the mix. Kirk Cousins is out. It's y'all's for the taking. But when it comes to that playoff game, Sometimes those type of teams fold in the playoffs that don't have the experience, but we'll see how that goes. They're they going to be a tough out for anybody. But they're like gonna be, I said, they're going to be a tough out. They're going to be a tough Eagles. out. Yeah. Eagles, I mean, Eagles and Niners, man. I'm right with you. I, I mean, I think not to single out uh, Jared Goff, but he's got that trick or treat factor. Huh. Right? <laughs> like, you know, you just never know this Jared Goff that you're going to get. He's a former number one pick. I don't know if that was like the best number one pick that you could have ever made, but, Hell no. Hell right? no. but he, you know, he's been to a Super Bowl. He's making plays now in Detroit, but again, you're not just going to let it ride on Jared Goff. Oh no. That's why you run the ball. That's what they're great at. They run the hell out that ball. Jameer Gibbs, David Montgomery behind that stout offensive line that run the ball. And that's, why Jared Goff is able to succeed. You got a Amara St. Brown, Khalif Raymond. You got a Jamison Williams. He's back in the fold. They got Laporta, their tight end. They have, they have some players out there, but I just got to see what they do when it's, you know, the playoffs, you know, Detroit, man, when it comes to the playoff football, you look at their record, they haven't won a playoff game since what, 1990, 90, when they went to the NFC East. I mean the NFC uh championship that year. I I uh uh-uh. no no. We got to see it to believe it, man. Do what you got to do to get in the in the in the tournament. But I gotta you got to show and prove to me. So right. we'll right. see. But like I said, at the top it's Eagles and it's the 49ers. Right. And on that note, Monday Night Football tonight. Like I said, Super Bowl foreshadowing. Henceforth, two questions, two things. First question. Who has the advantage when the Chiefs have the ball? You got to go Isaiah Pacheco, man. Clyde Hilaire, uh, Edwards, you got you to gotta get – you got to feed the running backs the rock. Travis Kelsey, you'll be able to get a couple of plays in where you catch him, but you can't go pass heavy when the conditions are bad. They say it's going to be raining, it's cold. The element's going to play a factor. Field going to be a little slippery, muddy. It's going to be some physical football. But in these type of games, you got to strap up your boots and you got to run that rock. And you got to run the rock till your t- the other team can't take it no more. So we'll see. I, I say Pacheco. You get you get Pacheco 20, at the 25. Now, I know they don't run the ball like that now. But because of the conditions, you're going you to have to run him about 20 to 25 times tonight. Yeah. And, and I mean, look, I don't know how you could ever really feel that solid about betting against the golden boy, Pat Mahomes, right? Because he is kind of, in my opinion, the closest thing that we have in modern day sports to Michael Jordan, 
The guy makes plays when he needs to make plays. Hey, man, I, I was a Mike hater as a kid because I loved Barkley. Before KG came and AI came, I was pro Barkley, and I hated Mike. I hate Pat Mahomes the same way I hate Mike. It because he he gets all the calls and a lot of things that go his way is because of his arm and, and and he he able to do things that others can't do. Man, I just hate it. And then he was the beneficiary of a flag being thrown last year on Bradbury, and he get a chip like that. That shit rubbed me the wrong way, and I hope. I hope the Eagles are motivated and they go out and and they get they put him in the ground a couple of times. I want to see at least three sacks tonight. If the Eagles could get at least they could get three sacks on Mahomes tonight. I like our chances at winning the game. You got to put pressure on this guy. That's the only way you're going to beat the Chiefs is if you out shoot him or you able to get to the quarterback. Please Jalen Carter. Please Josh Sweat. Please Fletcher. Uh, uh, Jordan Davis, everybody on the D line, BG, you got to go get Mahomes. That's the priority. Yeah. And look, I know that we were talking a little bit about Nicobe Dean, maybe not looking 100% or whatever's going on with him, but whatever the Eagles are doing on defense, they better keep a spy, you know, looking at Mahomes because he's not Lamar Jackson, but I've never seen a guy who is not exactly fleet of foot be faster with the ball in his hands. I've never Happy seen Mahomes. Feet. Happy feet, like the penguin. Happy feet, man. He able to get out of dodge some way. You know what I mean? I just don't understand how, man. He ain't the the fastest. He's not a burner, but he's a a a, a, a pocket quarterback with mobility, as he, they would say. Yeah, he is. He is like that Jerry Rice. You know, whatever he ran in the forty was a four or six, four or seven, but never gets caught from behind. Oh yeah, absolutely, man. Okay, so we're both rolling with when the Chiefs have the ball, Chiefs had the advantage. Next question of the two questions here, who has the advantage when the Eagles have the ball? I'm going Philly. You got to go the got to go D Swift. Swift, you got to run the ball until they submit. And then when you seeing guys gas, got to get them guys out there. We got to have two tight end sets out there, two receivers. One I, I would love to run it like single back, but Listen, run that run by any means. <clears throat> it ain't going to be too many passing opportunities with the weather being like this. So you have to run swift like you ain't running before tonight. 25 yards, I mean 25 carries for swift. Or if you're going to do 18 for him, 12, 14 for Gainwell, that is the plan tonight. Get Gainwell 15, swift 20. That'll get us a lot of, you know, play action. A lot of stuff will be available for the Eagles. If you got to run a screen, I don't like to run screens in bad weather. I don't think you should do that. But if you're able to do it, go for it. But this is going to be smash mouth football. Run that rock with DeAndre Swift. On on the note of smash mouth football, somebody that I got a great deal of respect for, he's on my fantasy team, Dallas Goddard. How much is the Philly offense missing him right now? I mean, you got one of the best pass blocking tight ends in football. He could do it all, man. He had to learn early because he came in as just a a, 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 a a receiver, but he couldn't block. But he learned to block, and he became one of the best blocking tight ends in football along with his skill set for getting the rock. So that's going to hurt us. I like the guy Stahl. We got him. We got a couple other guys we can put in there, but with his presence is definitely going to be missed out on that field. But Listen, you got A.J. Brown still. You got Devontae Smith. Open that shit up with the run game, and there will be passing opportunities. Like, I'm, I'm, I'm not in fear of the Chiefs' backfield. You know what I mean? Chris Jones is a problem. Got to keep an eye on him. But other than that, I, I, I can see the Eagles moving the ball with that stout offensive line that we have. We can, we can do some damage tonight, and we owe them. We owed them big time after that bullshit last year. Yeah, I was I was gonna say one. This is without question a statement game for the Philadelphia offensive line, right? Right. right? Like you said, weather's what it's gonna be. You know, passing game may not be there the whole night, and so they're gonna be leaning on these five guys up front to do what they do best and open up holes for one of Philadelphia's finest, John Swift. Hey man, they gotta get it done, man. I, that left a bad taste. 
in a lot of people's mouth, man, when that motherfucking ref threw that flag, I could have just put my hands on that ref and choked the shit out of him, man. You don't throw a flag in that moment, man. You don't do that. Would you have done that if Tom Brady was on the other end of that? Hell no. You would have kept that flag in your pocket. I, I, I'm going to go to my grave saying that. So I want to see the Eagles get real physical with these guys. Put I don't want to see Pat Mahomes hurt now, y'all. But I want to see that man jersey dirty by the end of this game. I want to see that, that jersey stained up. Put some pressure on him. You're able to walk out of here feeling good with a victory. At Arrowhead, one of the toughest places in the NFL to get a victory. I like our chances, man. Yeah, no, I, I like the Eagles' chances. So let's let's take it to the prediction phase. What kind of score prognostication does Mr. West Philly Hippie feel tonight? Man, it's going to be an ugly football game. I'm talking about maybe something like, I, I say 23-16. That's the feeling I'm getting maybe. It might even be a, a game where I go say 19-15. A, a weird, funky game. It, it I'm okay. feeling like it might be something around like that. Maybe, I'm a, if I got to pick, I'm going to say 19-16. Eagles. 19-16 Eagles. Damn, okay. That is a funky score. Yes, sir. Taylor Swift, it sounds like she's not going to be seeing, you know, Trav, you know, hit the end zone <laughs> tonight. The kickers are going to be key tonight because then you got to make them field goals. We got to talk about that. The weather is going to be bad. It's going to be bad for the kicker for uh, the Chiefs and Jake Elliott. You got to capitalize. This is the game where the, the kicker is real, real important. And you might see them really putting up a lot of points this uh, for, for the night. Because I don't think it's going to be too many touchdowns being scored. But if I'm correct, 1916 Eagles, man. 1916 Eagles. Fly, Eagles, fly. Andre, as always, thank you for, ed ed for the education. Thank you for tapping in. We'll do it again next week. And go birds. Go birds, man.